Shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, want to give all praises, glory, and honor to the Most High God, Yahweh. By Shema Mashiach, Kwamalaki, I was shot. I'm going to give a strong shalom to all our brothers and sisters out there who are staying diligent in this thing, being girded in this walk, praying, fasting, studying, doing everything they got to do to make their calling and election sure. I just want to do a short video today, man, to just kind of give the people warning. You know, talk about the things that's happening in this world. Talk about the things that come. Because that's what we're supposed to do as a, as a people, man. So I'm going to kick it off with uh, Ezekiel 3 and 17. Because this is what we're supposed to be doing as a people. You know, all Yasha Allah, all the 12 tribes. It don't matter whether, you know, we're, we're WFI being or the actual watchman for Israel. Whether you HOI being House of Israel. Whether you SOT, the Sons of Thunder. Whether you uh, AHOS, the Anointed House of Saints. Whether you ISUBK, whether you IUIC, whether you Sakari, whether you GMS. It, it don't matter who we are. We got a, a important role to play in life, man. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. Said so the Lord made us watchmen, man. He didn't make us just ordinary people. He made us people we supposed to be keeping watch. We supposed to be actually paying attention to what's going on in this world. Not just getting caught up in uh in cnn or just listening to the doctors or just listening to your 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 so-called leader at the plantation man said so the lord has made watchmen man he said i have made thee a watchman unto the house of israel therefore hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me i said the lord warned us of the things that's in the past man he warned us of the things that's in the present and the things that's going to happen in the future and and Man, bless the we to see the things that's going on in this world, man. To have an ear to, to what's going on in these streets for real, man. Because the thing that we're talking about today, man, is this word and this book being sealed up, man. Just like in the days of Daniel, how the, how the word got sealed up. That same thing is coming then, man. Same thing is coming now, so like Got Amos chapter 8. In verse 11, it said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land. So we already know that there's a famine of the of the, the, the food, you know, and the water. You know, they cutting off people water supplies, man. You got the damn uh, air quality alerts going on from city to city. You got the, the sh uh, shelves in the stores are going empty, man. You got uh, all these uh, all these farms. You know, the crops are being burnt up. The animals are being killed off. You got uh, GMO places everywhere. You got all these uh, these uh, processing plants, man. They getting, they getting damn caught on fire. Is is uh, natural disasters making the buildings fall apart, man. So, was it uh, the price of eggs went up? Because uh, magically all the chickens are dying, man. So it was a chicken shortage just a, a, a few years ago, man. People couldn't get wings. People had Popeyes going crazy, man. So we ain't even talking about that famine. This is speaking of a whole nother famine here. Said that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. I said these people are gonna be uh lacking that uh that spiritual uh the spiritual water, the living water, man. That's the word of the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. There's going to be a famine of this coming. It's a man-made famine, man. But it's thus saith the Lord. It was prophesied, man. Verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. In the days to come, the people, they're going to be looking for this word, man. They're going to be out there like, damn, where was them brothers at with the carpet on their shirts? Wearing them long garments out there with the microphone yelling at the public man that was lifting up their voice like a trumpet man showing their people their transgressions because they trying to get us off of these corners man i'm gonna bring up an article and i don't want israel to get over righteous in this thing and be like you know that that ain't got nothing to do with us because because this article particularly that i'm pulling up it's about a healing but nonetheless this these things are happening all over the place man because even people outside of Yasha Allah are actually waking up to the madness that's going on, man. Everybody can see the the plan and the plot of this damn devil, man. Or what he got going on. This is from the Lancaster Patriot, man. See that? 
is titled Reading Man Arrested for Quoting Bible in Public. I say he wasn't just standing on just some random corner, just out there just just saying uh, John 3.16 all day long, man. He went out there quoting Philippians all day long, just somebody I can do all things through Christ, man. He was out here actually spitting some real stuff. He was at a, a, a pride rally, man. Same thing brothers are doing in these camps and congregations in every city right now, man. Because this month is just filled with wickedness. So I'm going to just go into a little bit on it. I ain't going to read the whole thing, man. And this was going into, this was the first Saturday this month. Because the article came out June 5th. This is talking about the first Saturday, so-called Saturday of this month. Said that he was at a rally. Said on, all right, it took less than 60 seconds of standing on the sidewalk for Damon Atkins to be placed in handcuffs and arrested for quoting a portion of a Bible verse. He didn't even, he didn't even get the whole thing out. He, he wasn't even like the brothers in the camps, man. We be sitting there be like, you know, brother, brother say something, you know, read a scripture and, and the brother go, what did the Lord say? Or, or, uh, or, you know, got the brothers yelling, bring it out. Or, you know, it say, it does say it the Lord and brothers, you know, quoting it again. He didn't even get the whole Bible verse out, man. And what happened? What happened, man? Damn police ran up on him, man. So on Saturday morning, dozens of people were gathered outside the Reading City Hall on Washington Street to participate in the city's first ever Pride March and Rally endorsed by Mayor Eddie Moran. I said, this happened at 10 o'clock in the morning, man. Let me skip down a little bit. Said so the video begins with where narrating and explaining that he preached until a cop got in my face, laid hands on me, and threatened to arrest me if I didn't stop. Said so the police got on his head, man. They was out there yelling at him. They was like, hey, you gonna stop. You know, and they, and they beat the heathen down, man. <laughs> they beat him down just like he was a Jake. That's how much the word, I mean, the Salaki, this world can't stand the most high Yahweh, man. They can't stand Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. They can't stand the prophets. And they can't they can't even stand these cleaving heathens that 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 have an understanding, you know, whose spirits don't resonate with the madness that's going on in this world. Continuing on, he said, they got drag queens. They got children here, where said in an interview. They're about to do a flag raising ceremony in this Satan cesspit. Say he was getting in this thing, man. He was kind of kind of laying it all out there on the table. Kind of getting on these heathens' heads, man. Say it with a little bit a little bit going on into the the article here. I'm gonna bring out the verse that this heathen brought out, man. Cause nonetheless, yeah, he's not our people. That I know of. It's like I can't even jump to conclusions and you know, because we don't know this man's lineage. But just, just from the appearance of things, you know, he may not be our people. But nonetheless, he was going into it, man. He brought out 1 Corinthians 14, 33. This is the whole, the whole verse that he couldn't even get out. 1 Corinthians 14 and 33. For God is not the author of confusion, said, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. Said, we all know, man. Yeah, how is not the author of confusion? These people are trying to slap the Lord in his face and tell him that he he made mistakes. These people try to talk about they was born, you know, born as a sodomite. You know, uh, the people are feeling like they were born a different different uh, person than they were. I'm not even going to go into these crazy terms, man. You know, you saw me paying attention to what's going on on these channels. But, but you know, we speaking in code. He didn't have an ear let him hear, man. We know what's going on. Said, but these things, man, this place is wicked. And that's why it has to go down, man, thus saith the Lord. This place is, is, is it's off the chain. It's getting out of control. But these are things that the Lord has told us, has told us, Salaki. And that's why he has made us watchmen, because we're supposed to be actually declaring these works, man. We're supposed to be talking about it. Like, this stuff is no secret. You know, this this ain't something that the brothers just decided to just just make up, man. This is stuff that we read from the word, man. It's right here. That same book that's been on your bookshelf all your life, man. The same one that your mom and your and your granny was reading in church, man. But they wasn't even actually reading it. They was just getting getting distracted by the the prosperity doctrines, man. They didn't seek out the words of the Lord. 
said, blessed is he that readeth this stuff, man. Ezekiel 12 and 25. For I am the Lord. I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. So these things aren't being prolonged anymore, man. The Lord is, is letting Satan run rapid now. But Satan also know that his time is running short, man. So these days aren't prolonged anymore, man. And he making the days short for the elect's sake. Because it's, it's about time to get up out of here. It's high time for Israel to wake up out of sleep, man. For in your days, O rebellious house. That's what Israel is, a rebellious house. Because who's the people that's on the forefront of this damn walk? We all know that it's spiritual demon Satan, which is damn Esau, damn king of Edom. We already know it's him. But who is the one that he put on the front line? Jake, man. Look at uh look at uh Dwayne Wade's son, man. I'm not call I'm not calling him a girl, man. That's madness. That's his son. That is his son, man. When you read these when you watch these interviews like he just did the one with uh with Shannon Sharp, said talking about just madness, man. <laughs> just madness. Talking about some the way that they was being in the house, the rest of the world ain't ready for that. No, man, the, the Lord is not the author of confusion, man. He didn't make it this way. That's being a rebellious house. To go, hey, Lord, it, you made me this, but that ain't how I feel, so I'm going to go ahead and just do my own thing. The Lord didn't say do your own thing, man. That come as you are stuff, man, that's dying with the Christian church, man. That That's not a precept in here. Out of the 80 books in scriptures, man, there is no verse that says come as you are, man. The Lord is not dealing with that madness. But on the left hand side, you are supposed to come as you are. He told you he he made man and he and he made female. He made them. You know, he, he didn't make all these crazy pronouns that people are coming up with. He didn't come up with all these damn uh vile affections and 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 lust of the flesh and just people just doing whatever they want to do and just all out wickedness. Man, the Lord's not dealing with that, man. Finishing this verse up. Say, will I say the word? And will perform it, saith the Lord God. Again, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesied of times that are far off. So this was in the days of Ezekiel. You know, they were prophesying something that was a time far off. But then, like you read the book of Ecclesiastes, say everything, that, everything that's in the past, man, is coming now. It, paraphrasing. The line that there is nothing new under the sun. Everything that's in the days of old, the same stuff happening now. We're in the days of, of Sodom and Gomorrah, man. And that's why the Lord was saying that it was better for the days of Sodom and Gomorrah than it is for now, man. Because this place got to go. This this place, is they corrupted everybody, man. They're making people just want to do all forms of wickedness and just go against just reality, man. Said, but this is what our forefathers been doing as watchmen was bringing up these these so-called you know what the world would call like sensitive topics man <laughs> we going in on the truth man we bringing it out we setting it all on the table we're not we're not blurring the lines and and speaking through gray areas or, and none of that madness man we speaking thus saith the lord making it plain upon tables acts 4 and 13 said now when they saw the, the boldness of peter and john and that's how we move in these days, man. We move in boldness. We not hiding it. We not, you know, whispering it like, hey man, you know this place is kind of wicked, man. There's a lot of sodomites around. No, man, we out there on the corner shaking a damn hand with a loudspeaker, man. With a megaphone. Telling these people that they gotta wake up from their iniquities, man. Perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men. And that's what they want to call us. <laughs> they call us ignorant and unlearned. You don't understand their pronouns. You don't understand the way that they feel. Man, that's madness. We're not dealing with that. We're not ignorant. We're not dumb to the things that's going on, man. We see clearly. We're not hiding behind the dirty looking glass. We ain't got blinders over our sunglasses no more. Man, like, it's madness. We putting it all on the forefront. Said so they marvel and they took knowledge of them. Said so they marvel at us, man. And then they taking the knowledge. What's taking the knowledge? They, they out there taking pictures of us. They, they clipping the things that we say. You know, they making all these videos. They got the AI that is going to be turning uh, our people into to animated things, man, to, to confuse your people in the days to come. They're going to have you on camera saying some stuff that you didn't even say. 
gonna look just like you. It's gonna sound just like you. Don't believe me? Watch that uh the the new season of Black Mirror, the first episode. As soon as you click on it, man, watch that. It's gonna it's gonna show you. Cause the cause Esau they put playing in front of you what's going on, man. They not had nothing. The devil can't help but to expose his plan. Where you know, say and they took knowledge of them. They had been with Yahweh Shai. So they know who we moving with, man. They know that we moving with Yahweh Shai. They know that we ain't doing this of our own, just, just damn vanity. Like we just made this stuff up. That's why they. That's why they call us Bible thumpers. They're like that's all they want to do is read the Bible. Yes, that's all we want to do because we want to read these basic instructions before we leave this earth, man. Verse fourteen. And beholding the man which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. As in they hate when people are up there. Uh, hearing the word, man, and they and it's resonating with their spirit, and and they ready to repent, and and become a new man, and put off that old wicked flesh. Is that? But they can't say anything against it, cause it's thus said the Lord. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, "What shall we do to these men? For that indeed a notable miracle hath been done by them is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it." Hey, these people can't deny what's going on, man. They see it. Satan is just trying to live it up. Satan got that YOLO spirit, man. But that YOLO spirit is going to get him and all his people that want to be with him destroyed, man. Why is that? Say verse 17. But that is spread no further among the people. Said this wickedness can't spread no more throughout the people. But they want it to be on our side. They don't want righteousness to spread. They don't want everybody to wake up. And, and realize that they in captivity, realize that they've been lied to, been deceived. They don't want that, man. Let us straightly threaten them. And that's what they did with the man in that article that I just brought out. They threatened them. They told them, hey, you don't, start, you don't stop reading that Bible, man. We're going to beat your ass. We're going to lock you up. And that's exactly what happened. Because he told them that the, that the Most High God, Yahweh, is not the author of confusion, man. Said, let us straightly threaten them. Said, straightly threaten them. Straight to the point. They didn't hide it and be like, hey, look, some, some bad things going to happen to you. No, man, they, they told them what it is. Said that they speak henceforth to no man in his name. And that's the same thing they're trying to get us to do now. They're like, stop speaking that Christ stuff, man. Stop speaking that God stuff. Stop speaking that righteousness. Said, and they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Yahweh Shai. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, whether it be right in the sight of Yahweh to hearken unto you more than unto Yahweh, judge ye. He said, man, hey, you be the judge if you think that this is right or wrong, man. But we already know how they feel. But at the same time, we don't give a damn how they feel because we moving in the spirit of the Lord. And that's why even when you read like Acts uh, 5 and, and 39 now, the, you know, our people, they was ready to get re arrested for this thing. Many of prophets throughout these scriptures have gotten arrested for this word, man. It happened just prophet after prophet, man. That it, it continued to happen. Our forefathers got beat up for this. They got, they got damn, it was wars built off of this, man. Brothers got arrested for this. That's the same thing that, that we own now, man. Because verse 20 going to wrap it up. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. So we got to speak the things that we've seen and heard, man. This ain't nothing. We're not just making stuff up. Because we're saying that everything that's in the past is the same thing that's happening now. We can't we can't hide it. It's already been prophesied. It's things that already have happened. It's just happening again. But now we're in Babylon the Great. And the, and the cup is running over, man. The sins have reached unto the heavens, man. It's, it's getting out of control. And these things got to come to an end, thus said the Lord. Book of John... Chapter 16 and verse 25. These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs. So he spoke this stuff in Proverbs is in the parables, is in the, the wise speakings. But it, more importantly, it's just the precepts. These things were actually written in the book of Proverbs, in the book of Psalms. It was written in, in Kings. It was written in uh, Chronicles. It was written in Judges. It was written in Joshua. It was written in Genesis, man. Nothing is new, man. Said, but the time cometh. When I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs, but I shall show you plainly of the Father. And said, these times are coming upon the earth, man, where your house is about to return, man. 
where the where the most high guy you how was about to let you how should i run rapid on this place man he about the about the uh it's like a dog that that when he on the on the chain he just sitting there at the fence just ready to do some work man that's your house shot right now he's just sitting there just waiting waiting on that moment that the most high turn him loose and he gonna come through here and do some damage man these people are not ready for that but i'm gonna i got one more verse and i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up man book of jeremiah chapter 20 and i'm gonna start at seven said oh lord thou hast deceived me and i was deceived thou art stronger than i and has prevailed i am in derision daily everyone mocketh me said that's our people man that's the men of the lord that's the the women of the lord man that's the children of the lord in these days we're in derision they gonna mock us daily especially when we hit these these pride events man they're going to sit there and, and all the demons are going to come out. We expect that. But we prepared, man, because we put on a whole armor of God, as it says in Ephesians 6 and 10 on down. It said, for since I spake, I cried out. I cried violence and spoil. And we're telling these nations, man, that they didn't, they didn't plundered our people. So that's why the Lord said that we are people robbed and spoiled, man. It said, because the word of the Lord was made a reproach unto me and a derision daily. This is a daily battle. This ain't something that we just endure for a week or, or you know, just around Passover, or just around Tabernacles, or just, just on Saturdays when we go out to camp. No, this is happening daily, man. No matter where we go, they're going to follow our footsteps, trying to hunt us down. Verse 9, then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. I said, brothers, you know, in, in these days, it's a great falling away. So some brothers are actually going to get timid. You know, when, when that when the heat get turned up, man, when that flame get 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 put underneath their ass, man. They're gonna be like, Oh damn, man. They told us that just like they just like we brought out in uh just like we brought out in X, you know, brothers gonna get gonna get uh gonna get timid and be like, Hey man, maybe maybe we shouldn't say no more. Maybe we can just like hold it in, man. But how did Jeremiah feel? said then i said i will not make mention of him nor speak any more in his name but his word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones and i was weary with forbearing and i could not stay it said you couldn't he couldn't even stay in that position man he was like damn maybe i shouldn't you know he, he thought he was moving in wisdom and being like you know maybe maybe i shouldn't say nothing i should just just keep it in and you know hold my thoughts to myself and just not say nothing to these wicked people. Let them do what they're going to do. And, you know, God going to judge them. But he couldn't, man. It was like a fire. It was shut up in his bones, man. You got to look at it like Iron Man with that damn glowing thing in his chest. That's how it is. This word would just, it just wanted to, he just couldn't, man. The word quickened his spirit and he had to get into that thing, man. That's the same thing we are in now these days. And we got to stand bold for you. How Shim Yahweh Shai until the end? It said verse 10, for I heard the defaming of many fear on every side so they're gonna be coming from every side every direction they doing that now through the spirit of, of just coming coming to you through the tv that coming through you through the radio through social media through through your friends and through your family but this is literally gonna be happening in these last days more and more is this is just the beginning it's gonna happen where you know they're gonna be locking brothers up everywhere man it ain't, it's going to be a famine of the word. It ain't going to be no more brothers on the corners. It ain't going to be no more YouTube channels. It ain't going to be no more TikTok videos and brothers going viral and, and you got DC Young Fly talking about the Lord and he a Hebrew Israelite and, and you got Ye talking about it and, you know, brothers getting the contracts and stuff canceled and, and then they kind of go back on their word. But since, you know, they got such a big following, the word's already spread now and, and it's kind of too late. It ain't going to work like that no more, man. It's, read that again. For I heard the defaming of many, fear on every side. Report, say they, and we will report it. All my families watch for my halting. Say all your family gonna be sitting around like, man, they, they know. Like as soon as stuff start cracking, them like, hey, they going after him. They might get your family some money just to to expose your whereabouts. Let them know where you at, so the police can come jam you up. Say all my families watch for my halting, saying. Per adventure, he will be enticed, and we shall prevail against him, and we shall take our revenge on him. Said, and your family even waiting. They waiting for this moment. They act like everything all cool and gravy, and they love you now. But when that day come where the world is turning on you, man, they gonna they gonna throw you out there. 
verse 11. But the Lord is with me as a mighty, terrible one. He's going to be with us just like when, when Daniel got locked up, man. But he was still, still in there praying three times a day. That's how we got to be in these last days. It said, but the Lord is with me as a mighty, terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble and they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed for they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. Saying with that, hope brothers and sisters was edified. Giving all praises, glory, and honor to the Most High God, Yahweh. Bashem Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Saying, I pray that this was exhortating for brothers to continue to stay in the spirit, stay steadfast, stay diligent, stay watchful, man. Keep watch because these times are at hand, man. And now we got to we gotta gird about our loins with truth more than ever in these last days. But with that, Kwame Yashallah. Shalom.